Hello everyone, Eric with those on TCG today, and we're taking a look at Nyx Fluandere's first place case tournament deck profile. Before we get into the profile, please be sure to use our TCG player affiliate link if you're interested in picking this deck up. Also, this exact profile will be available on our official site. We're going to have a deck archive now for everyone, kind of documents and tournaments. We're also going to start documenting tournament results just from any tournaments that we find. Um, whether they be online or in person on ygeoprodeck.com there will be a tournament section opening at some point um, it's currently in a construction process but let's go ahead and get on to the profile we're going to kind of jump around between what cards we're talking about here so of course it's flu on to read it's pretty standard but this this version actually plays a lot of going second cards and that's kind of what the deck has to do rather than playing hand traps like effect veiler and ash blossom you can have to play more board breakers and that's really how the format is you have to play board breakers in order to be able to play second because a lot of the current decks are extremely oppressive um so we can see that there are there's the three dark ruler no more three lightning storm and mystic mine um that is just to be able to play second because going first um you're probably going to be fine you'll probably end up winning if you're able to resolve your combo especially if they don't open up their going second cards uh whatsoever but the monsters here standard i think the only real difference is how many um street you play how many talking you play it really depends on what you think is gonna be better for a given tournament in this case of course just the wind barrier statue three eglin uh double m pen triple rabina and then the again street and, and talking are kind of the only flex spots here some people don't play talking some people don't play stry um, some people play two of one one of the other um, one one etc Apex Avian, Ryza, and then Call by the Grave. At this point, the card should just be banned. Um, don't know why this card is still legal, but we'll, maybe we'll see it on the uh, finally in the banned section. Um, next list, again, Triple Dark Ruler No More. Pretty standard. Um, Flew on uh, the quick play. Um, he said it, it would perform very well overall, and it is a, it kind of locks your opponent to Mystic Mind. If you only have one monster, you have this card, you can just. Uh, banish your own monster and get some advantage from that while still playing on your own mystic mine triple map um pretty standard to a card is the reason to play the deck uh a lot of powerful field spells right now pretty pretty cool um one of the continuous spell which i think i don't know how great it was in prosperity i think it's just like fine you kind of have to play it um to play with dreaming town um then the again mystic mine and lightning storm uh, triple duality, triple prosperity, and one terraforming for consistency. One dreaming town. Again, really standard. I don't really think this deck has a high ceiling. I think most people would agree with that. Uh, builds are kind of, for the most part, solved. It really comes down to some of your tech choice. Extra deck I would mention. Uh, the only notable thing is the Nova and Makaba. That's pretty standard, just in case your opponent happens to be playing Dogmatica with uh, Maximus and really the only difference otherwise from previous builds is Garura um, turns into a straight um, trade kind of almost like a plus one really for ultimate slayer which Nick was playing in the side deck um, you just get a draw off of it so and so frigid same thing um, sometimes you'll play Shreg you'll use Shreg for ultimate slayer instead getting rid of pesky link monsters but otherwise um, pretty standard he plays a couple of the Lyraless cards and um, the the one should be um, Assembled Nightingale. I know there was an error on the original deck profile, uh, the original deck list I received. Um, the uh, one of these should be assembled. Um, I think it's this blue one down here, um, right next to the Downer Magician that should be assembled. Uh, the one that attacks directly. That's the only difference, though. Uh, and really, I don't think he went into it at all. But that's all for the extra deck. Uh, side deck. Um, this is where the tech cards come in. So triple cross out. I'm gonna assume this was four cards like Dark Ruler No More and Lightning Storm, maybe even Mystic Mine, um, as well as stuff like Evenly Match because he does play the triple Evenly Match. That is just so he doesn't get blown out, and that's kind of again how it is. The power spells, be able to play going second. Um, really, the only way he's gonna probably win. So he, I'm gonna guess he sided in cross out for those when going first maybe even going second he sided in so then the harpies feather duster for back row matchup um i don't think elish is a particularly difficult matchup depending on if you get to your statue um but he, he does respect it anyway and he didn't play reboot just because there's no way to really clear the back row besides zeus and you're not always not going to get to zeus turn one um, like you are in other decks the other two mystic minds kind of how it is one regeki double slayer kind of a meme i know he said he was going to play i think the third slayer instead of regeki I don't think he could find a third uh, Slayer in the, in the meantime. 
um, but that's how it is. And he said it, it performed just fine as well. Um, triple evenly matched and triple feather storm. Again, I don't know why feather storm's legal, but that is just for going first as well. It should be an auto win versus every single deck, assuming you draw it and, and you get to play it. He did mention he wanted to play uh, trap trick and main going forward, and that evenly was pretty good going second as well. So I. Pretty short profile, honestly. There was really no reason to, to talk about this anymore. It's just full on reads. We're gonna have some more replays up um, for tier limits and some sprite, uh, maybe some other uh, rogue decks for the format. But really, just wanted to have this because this was uh, it was interesting. He was able to play full on reads and manage to win the case tournament with that. So, um, congrats to Nick, of course. And as always, thank you so much for watching.